Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well today and I hope you all had a great month of July. I am posting this video on the 31st, so that means it's time for another monthly favorites roundup type of video. And if you're newer to my channel, I like to post these videos at the end of every month just to kind of check in with you guys and let you know what I've been up to and what I have been really liking recently. Since most of my videos are more tutorial based, it's really fun for me to just sit down and talk to you guys for a little while. So I have a bunch of different categories that I do talk about and I'm going to start out today, I think with a little reading update. So my reading in July has definitely been very lighthearted. I've been reading a lot of novels and some rereads as well. So one book that I started re-listening to on Audible is the Guernsey Literary and Potato Peel Pie Society, which is such a mouthful of a name. But this is a really good book, especially if you like classic literature or historical fiction. This book is set in the post-World War II era and it's really, really interesting. The entire book is made up of letters that different characters are writing back and forth to each other, so it's really easy to read and also really fun to listen to as well if you like audiobooks because the audible version has different voices for the different characters in the books, which I really like. So my younger sister who helps me sew for my Etsy shop, she and I have been listening to this while we've been sewing the past month, which has been really fun. And there's also a really good Netflix original movie based on this book as well if you like period drama type of movies. This one stars Lily. James and I really like that one. Another book that I recently re-listened to, which actually may have been in the previous month, I can't quite remember the time frame, but it was Summer at Tiffany and this one was recommended to me by my friend Haley. It's actually a memoir but it very much feels like a novel as you're reading it because it's just so well written in that way I guess. So this book is also set in the World War II era and it's about two girls who moved to New York City during their college summer vacation and work at the Tiffany Company and they're actually two of the first women to work at the Tiffany Company because of the time frame. So it was a really charming book and definitely subject matter that I didn't know anything about. So I really like that one as well. Now some new books that I've been working through are the Crazy Rich Asian series by Kevin Kwan and these are such fun reads. I've been really enjoying these. I loved the movie um, but the books are so much more in depth. So if you've seen the movie there are actually two more books that continue on after that. So I finished the second one this past month and then my sister got me the third one for my birthday. So I'm really looking forward to diving into this one as well. So if you're not familiar with the story of these books, it's about an American girl who's dating a guy from Singapore and it turns out that he's from a very wealthy family so she goes to visit and it's a bit of culture shock. So it's a really interesting concept and definitely fun reading material. So if you think that sounds interesting, I would definitely recommend this series. The lighting might be really weird today guys because it's one of those stormy summer days where the clouds are just moving a lot. So bear with me, hopefully it won't be too bad, but if it's changing a lot, that's why. And then kind of going along with books, I've also been listening to a couple of podcasts this past month. The first one that I've been listening to is the podcast called You Must Remember This. And this is one of my favorites, but I had really not listened to it in a long time. It is an old Hollywood history podcast, so it's really interesting. It has such a vast variety of subject matter in different episodes, but the season that I listened to this past month is called Six Degrees of Song of the South. So this season basically went into the history of racism within Hollywood, which is really, really interesting to me, especially as someone who really likes old movies. That's something that is obviously a huge issue with these old movies. So it was really interesting to know what was going on at the time when these were coming out. And obviously it's centered around the Disney movie Song of the South, which you guys might know the ride Splash Mountain. So I found it really interesting and insightful and it had a lot of subject matter from old Hollywood that I don't feel like is discussed as much so I definitely enjoyed that one. And then I started another podcast based off of an advertisement that was actually on You Must Remember This so you know ads work. So this one is called Unfinished Deep South and it's really interesting to me because it's set in Arkansas which is where I live and it is about a murder that took place I think in the 1960s and no one had ever been arrested for so it's a race related crime and it's really um, interesting because these two journalists have come from New York and are in the small town in Arkansas interviewing people who are around at the time. So it's definitely interesting. It's kind of the true crime type of style of podcast, but really timely. So if you think that sounds interesting, I would really recommend it. It's currently coming out. So I think I've only listened to three or four episodes so far, but it's really well done.
So switching gears just a little bit to talk about working out and fitness, I normally have been going running a lot this year, but because it's been so hot and humid this July, it's been really hard to get out and go running. I've gone a few times, but I have to go a little bit later in the day, which is not really my favorite, especially with having to make sure I'm avoiding when it's dark outside. So this past week, my sisters and I started the Chloe Ting two week workout challenge. And she is a YouTuber who has some amazing fitness and workout videos. So if you guys haven't already checked her out, I will link to her channel down below because her content is really helpful and it's all free, which is such a great resource. So I've been really enjoying those workouts. We are on day five today out of the two weeks and they are definitely more intense type of workouts. For me, it's particularly strenuous on my arms because I have really weak arms. So it's been a challenge, but not too bad. And I've really been enjoying the workouts. So that's been a fun way to be able to get my exercise in without having to go out in the heat quite so much. Now I have a couple of little beauty products to talk about this month. I haven't had new ones to talk about in a while, I feel like, but I have a few this month. So the first one is a kind of like multi-purpose lipstick blush type of product. And I have this on today. This brand is called Henne, I think, Organics. I'm not really sure on the pr pronunciation on that, but it's a really pretty color. It's almost like this rust type of color, but it's really sheer. And I've really been liking this just because it's really uh, natural, easy to blend and really um, hydrating as as well so this has been a great little easy everyday product to wear especially when I'm not wearing a lot of makeup because I really haven't lately this color is called intrigue so I really like that one and then I recently ordered a few things from Glossier. I really like Glossier. I like the kind of um, sheer, no makeup type of vibe that they have going on. So I got one of their Generation G Sheer Matte Lipsticks, and this color is called Jam. So it looks like this really dark purple color, but it's actually very sheer. And I really like these cool toned berry type of colors. So I've been liking this one a lot. Really comfortable and easy to wear. And because it's that sheer formula, it's just not high maintenance at all. So I like that a lot. And then one more product from Glossier. This is their Lid Star, which is a liquid eyeshadow. The color on this, let me see if I can find the name. I don't see the color written on the package, so I will write it down below in the description box, but this is like a rose gold sheer shimmery type of color. I have this on today. I don't know if you can really tell, but I think it's just such an easy to wear type of eye product. And so I've really been enjoying all three of these, the purple lipstick when I'm on a more cool tone type of mood, and then the more warmer one when I want something a little bit warmer. So these are all products that I've been reaching for a lot recently. Now, TV and movies have kind of been following the same theme as books for me this month. I haven't really been checking out anything new, but I've been watching some old favorites. So I rewatched two old Hollywood movies this month that I really like, and I thought I would just recommend those to you guys in case you want to check them out. One is called Three Coins in the Fountain, and this one's really good. It's just about three ladies who are living in Italy. They're all Americans, but they are expats in Italy, and just kind of about a, I think it's like a year in their lives. So it's one of those kind of epic old Hollywood dramas in technicolor and really beautiful scenery because it was all filmed on location in Italy. So I really like that one. My sisters and I had a movie night watching this one where my sister made some really good Italian food and we watched Three Coins in the Fountain. So that was a lovely way to spend an evening if you're looking for a good um, quarantining activity. And then another one that I really, really like is called How to Marry a Millionaire. This stars Marilyn Monroe, Lauren Bacall, and Betty Grable. And it's another one about three women once again. And they're all living in New York City. It's just a really funny old comedy. So I would really recommend that one as well. So I always like to include a quick roundup and update of all the things I've been sewing over the past month. I know you guys will have seen a lot of these in my videos, but these are just some of my favorite things that I've made that I've been using a lot. So the first one is this little silk scalloped edge shirt, and I've been wearing this so much over the past month. It's really comfortable, and I love how it looks styled with some white trousers. So I've been wearing this so much, and it's just one of my favorite pieces that I've made this year. So I'm really excited with how that one turned out and how much use I've already gotten out of it. And then another favorite sewing project this month was this wrap dress. I really love how this one turned out. I actually haven't worn it that much, but I'm just so happy with it and I'm really looking forward to having more places to wear it in the future, but it's definitely one that I could wear around the house as well. So I'm not sure why I haven't worn it so much because it is really comfortable. So I'm just really happy with how this one came out. I have also been loving all of these little silk scrunchies that I made over the past month. I especially love this one that's in this teal silk charmeuse. These just feel so gentle on my hair. I feel like they don't break my hair at all. 
and I love the colors and the fabrics and it's nice for me to have some more simple solid colored scrunchies because I have so many more printed and bold ones so I've really been liking having these. And then the last sewing project I have that I have been really loving this month is my purple is my purple velvet cushion, which is taking up the whole frame. Um, but I really love how this turned out and I have been just having this sitting in the corner in my room. I like just sitting on this when I'm watching movies or painting or doing something like that. It's great to have some floor seating and I love how this turned out. I know a few of you have said you're gonna try and make it. So I'm really looking forward to seeing how that turns out for you guys. And then for the last thing today, I thought I would update you guys on how my knitting is going. I know I said in the last video, I was going to try and have this sweater done at the end of the month. That has not happened. I honestly have not been super motivated with knitting this month, but I have gotten some progress done. Now this is all over the place, so let me sort it out really quick. So I've gotten the whole front done, and this might be kind of hard to show you just because of how it is being, um, being made. And then I've started on the back piece, so it's separated out into the front and back, and then you join it at the shoulders and add the sleeves. So I'm hoping that August will be the month that I finish this, but I'm really happy with my progress, even though I haven't gotten that much done, it is still moving along. All right guys, so I think that is about it for what I've been up to over the past month. I really hope you enjoyed this little update and I would love to hear from you guys what you've been up to lately. So let me know that down in a comment below. And especially if you're new to my channel, I would love for you to introduce yourself and just let me know a little bit about who you are. I know there are some new people around here and I would love to get to know you a little bit better. So I think that's gonna be it for today, you guys. But if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button down below if you're interested. I would love to have you along for future videos. And if you've been following for a while and you wanna keep up with me outside of YouTube, Instagram is the place to do that. So I will put my username up here and you can go find me over there. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching today and I will see you soon with some new videos. I've got a lot of fun content coming up for August, a lot more sewing and DIYs and some styling videos, all kinds of things that I'm really excited about, a lot of new content. So I hope you guys will look forward to that and I will see you in the next one. Bye. The world could fall down.